provides everything that we are. And it owes us nothing unless we earn it. Life, therefore, has placed us in the presence of an eternal problem in order that we may master that problem, that we shall become worthy of the heritage, that we shall become good and faithful servants of the divine plan of things. We cannot be good servants if we are ignorant. And we cannot be part of a great divine plan unless we are able to understand it and cooperate with it. We do not ask to understand it all. All we can do is the best we can and offer ourselves cheerfully and unselfishly to the advancements of purposes beyond human understanding. But the whole series theory upon which modern man moves, this temporariness, this thing that comes and goes, this fact that the uh, ambitions all come to nothing. Why in the world have we been able to continue this age after age and never realize the facts? I think probably the answer is we haven't dared to think about the facts, and while we're alive, we're going to make the best of it. But this isn't true. We're not even making the best of it while we're here. But that way of life, which is going to be eternally valuable, is, the, is that way of life which is valuable now if we can cultivate it. The best in us now is the part that is going to serve us forever. We're going out in places where there will not be any cocaine or morphine. We do not have any uh, right to assume that making a fortune out of making other people sick and destroying them is a career. And we're going to have this problem until each individual in his own inner life makes a statement of values and keeps it. When the individual himself says no to temptation, there is no temptation. But as long as compromise for profit, pain, or notoriety is possible, we're going to have delinquency. As long as dissipation is happiness, true happiness is frustrated. So I think we must think of maturity now as outgrowing the smallness of our own life, outgrowing all the childish mistakes that we now regard as careers, and gradually come to realize our eternal citizenship, and that in that eternal citizenship we are somewhere between here and there. We are, we are much more than we were, we must become more than we are. And by growing in spirit and in truth and in love and in understanding, we are gradually going to accomplish the purpose. It's, we are going to carry with us into other embodiments in the future good karma, the, the continuing reward of right. We will discover that the, there is no such a thing as a punishment that makes anybody, including God, happy. A punishment is the result in ourselves of having broken these rules. When we stop breaking them, karma becomes a glorification of our good deeds. We can have a great and wonderful life. Once in a while we see someone who seems to be having that now. And now we may be a little jealous of them. We say that they were, uh, they were dishonestly privileged in some way. But happiness and security must be earned. And a life that is dedicated to principles is not a disaster or an, a, an impossible miracle in space. A right life well lived is a natural reward of integrity. There are honorable people, and we can study them also and can find out how and why they live better lives, simply because they have released more internal potential. And we have to all understand this and gradually release it as much as we can. If we do that, we'll be on our way to maturity. We will realize that maturity is not the right to be wrong. Maturity is not the privilege to dissipate. Maturity is not that the individual is old enough to break the rules of society. Maturity is not the person who is determined to waste his time doing things that are even below the level of childhood. Maturity is not the right to watch television eight hours a day. Maturity is not the privilege to watch violence anywhere. Maturity is the individual 
becoming censorship, censorship over his own attitude. So he turns off what he knows is not right without a second of hesitation. And if necessary, disposes of a whole career, if this career is gradually killing him. Little by little, he's going to make some good changes in life and do things that are right. And then we'll be mature. Instead of that, it's simply perpetual adolescence. It's the individual who will not grow up because he does not want the burdens of right living. He wants to do just as he pleases and have a happy life. But unless his pleasing is in harmony with the divine purpose, he's not going to have a happy life. It's up to each person to make a distinct effort to correct in himself those evils which he sees in society around him and which he thinks are endangering the survival of his civilization. Civilization will go on. We will in due time make the corrections, but we are doing it the hard way. We should be doing these things of our own free will that are being forced upon us by disaster. We can change it, however, but when we begin to do it right, things will fall into place, and we'll find this much more pleasant world than we ever thought it was. We can all grow up, and in growing up, we do not grow old. It is not a sign of maturity that we are aging. The most active, wonderful, and resilient people in the world are those which have, who have maybe reached considerable age, and yet are still living, thinking, dreaming, hoping, building. And when the time comes to go, as one of them said, this is the experience I've been waiting for. This is the only thing that is left necessary to me to prove the eternity of the plan. Whatever we go to, as Socrates said, we go to silence or we go to instruction. Whichever it is, we are content. But we have to earn the right to live well here and to die with a good hope. Until we do these adjustments and think these things through, we have no right to regard ourselves as grown up. We're just more or less prodigies, infants with prodigious minds in some direction, but very short on the temperatures. Until this thing is corrected, yeah, we're going to be in about the same condition we are now. And as we don't want to really do anything like that, we want to get there. We might as well start right away and save time and energy. Well, I guess that's it. Yeah.